Good morning everyone. Today I am going to do a melt and pour soap um, for my maid because today is actually, I know by the time I put this video, hopefully I can get it out before New Year, <laughs> but um, I'm doing this for Christmas for my maid Gabe. Um, I want to make him a melt and pour soap, I mean a uh, CP soap, but between you know just getting ready for Christmas and craft fair and all that stuff I just didn't have time and I felt so bad but I mean of course he could have any of my soaps he want but I just wanted to do something kind of um, cool from him for him that he would have of his own and uh, Melton pour is just I mean it's just as great as whole process in a sense <laughs> so um, what I'm going to do is make him an entire loaf of melt and pour, and I'm going to do it, um, in my deer hunting fragrance. Um, of course I can't do the camo, you know, because it's melt and pour, but, um, I'm going to make it in the same colors. And I'm on vacation, so that's why I'm up at 7 o'clock in the morning cutting chunks of melt and pour soap <laughs> and having my morning coffee also guys so while I'm doing this I want to just tell you guys quickly about a company that sent a product to me which is the coffee that I am drinking now and let me tell you it is actually really really good um just take a quick sip uh the company is called Angelino's Coffee and they have cake cups and I thought this was really really cool so they sent me this entire box right here and you get uh what is it 12 uh let's see three six nine no you get uh 16 16 different types of coffee and um I am drinking right now which one am I drinking they are I'm telling you guys these are really really good I'm trying to find it I'm drinking the raspberry I don't even see it on here they have so many different blends raspberry truffle is the one that I'm drinking but I these are all the many I take that back they have so many so you can just go on their website and pick and choose the ones that you want and uh, here are some of the names they do have they have Colombian Kona mocha breakfast french roast dark roast creme brulee blueberry hazelnut pumpkin caramel and it just goes on and on and on so i was like really excited to try these when i got them and they come just like this like your standard cake cup um little pods if you will there's the maple glaze and it makes one cup and i'm telling you they are absolutely delicious so you can actually once you visit their site you can get you can pick your favorite flavors and it's free shipping and if you really love them that much you can get auto delivery and it's like 39 cents per cup so i'm most definitely a fan of this company most definitely go check them out if you uh, have like a keurig or a k-cup brewer and um pick some flavors that you would like and just try because i'm telling you guys i love coffee i drink coffee every single morning and i'm really digging this site once again it is called andalinos and you can visit them yeah so um that's enough of that i'm gonna finish drinking this cup of deliciousness and um one of my the reason why I'm showing you this process in the melt and pour is because I want to show you a little tip that I do that's pretty it saves me a lot of time uh you guys know I don't do a lot of melt and pour soap not on film and the reason for it because I can't stand all the running back and forth to the microwave that drives me crazy so <laughs> oh excuse me uh Again, every single time I'm on vacation, Hunter gets me with her cooties, and then she takes off and leaves me sick. So, um, this is day five of my vacation, and I'm just trying to get over that stupid cough. But anyway, so, um, instead of running back and forth, you know, to the microwave with different colors and cups and trying to pour while they're still hot enough, um, I bought, I think I, yeah, I did show you guys a little, uh, crock pot that I got at my local thrift store. So, I'm going to show you what I'm doing with that. Be right back. 
All right, guys, so here's my crock pot. Um, what I did, like, I think it was I got my uh, salad shooter, too. I found this, and I told you guys that it didn't have a lid, so that works out just fine. I just stick a piece of cellophane over top and put a plate on top of that. So this is what I have going on here. Um, I just take all of my melts and pour. Mm, don't worry, I'm not going to burn myself. It's just a top. Um, and plop it in there and let it all melt. And the reason why I like to do that, and so when I want to use different colors with my melts and pour, I just lift the, the pot out of the crock pot and then pour the color that I need and then pour it into the mold. That way I can do many, many colors without messing up like tons of measuring cups or whatever you use to mix your colors in. So um, I'm just chopping and this is melting. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more. And I'm going to try to get enough to do a small loaf for Gabe. And then um, you guys will see me do the melting bar. So I'm going to finish chopping, put some more in here, wait until it's melted. And then I'll come back showing you guys the process that I'm going to use to make this melting pour. So until then, guys, I'll see you in a bit. Hey, guys, I'm back several hours later. <laughs> um, it didn't take several hours for this melting pour to melt. I've just been farting around. Because I've not felt like doing anything because, again, thanks to my darling sweet hunter, I am sick. But, um, yeah, I've literally, that was like 7 o'clock this morning. And what time is it now? Um, let's see. It is 107, so yeah, serious farting around here. But, um, I figured, like, in all honesty, no parts of me wants to make this over. <laughs> but... I figured um, tomorrow is Christmas Eve, so either you do it or you don't. And I figure I should probably do it just because he deserves it. And I want it to be a pleasant surprise since I wasn't able to make him any coal processed soap. So. And for those of you who do not know who Gabe is, eventually on my second channel you will meet him because um we we've been talking about doing some videos together over there oh that's clumpy so i've already put in my um colorants with a bit of glitter uh glittering <laughs> glycerin and um for those of you who do not know like i just learned today uh Fragrance oil and glycerin do not mix. <laughs> you can stir and stir and keep on stirring and it will not mix. So um, I'm sure once I put my melted pour in, it'll mix just fine. But for starters, no, it won't. So I know I'm going to have to melt some more in order to get what I want. You know, the, the right amount that I want. But this will do for starters. And I know I'm going to have to come back. Because I already have it cut up. I just, um, um, what am I trying to say here? Guys, forgive me if I'm a scatterbrain today. Because, again, I'm, I'm feeling like poop here. Feeling like poop, but it's good to soap when you're feeling like poop. Because you feel less like poop. <laughs> if that makes any sense, because I've been feeling like crap for the, pa the past five days, seriously. But, um, I am feeling loads better. Thanks to over-the-counter drugs. Love them. Um, trying to go the natural route. Wasn't working. So, yeah, no. Alright, so let me get this stuff poured in before it starts to solidify. And just so you guys know, this technique is not an original idea of mine. I saw a young lady. I Shame on me for not uh, remembering her name. But her channel is called Body Royalty. And I saw her do this quite some time ago. I'm like, ooh, cool, man, cool. So I said, one day in life, I'll give it a go. So this is that one day in life. And you know, guys, I didn't even check to see what my temps were to see if my fragrance is going to flash. That just shows what kind of mood I'm in right now. But you can still smell it. I'm doing it in my red cedar and pine, the same as I do my um, deer hunting. I should probably check the temps on this. I guess it's a little too late for that now, isn't it? <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, yeah. I got the technique from her channel. I will link her channel below, um, if I can remember. 
which I'm sure it will, but if I don't, again, her channel is for sure called Body Royalty, and I thought it was really, really cool how she swirled her melt and pour. So, again, this is not my idea. It's something that I saw, and I'm going to try it for my boo-boos. So, gosh darn it, I can slap myself, because I did plan to do a clear melt and pour base. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Alright, so I guess we'll start with white. The way she did it was to um, just pour it down um, your divider and just keep going. That's what you do. And I don't know if this is going to turn out like hers. I don't know anything. I'm just going to see what I come up with. And again, like I said, I'm going to have to add more because I clearly don't have enough melting pour just because my crock pot is not big enough. And I wasn't going to use my bigger crock pot for this, not at all. So, I really did want to use a clear base and then pour these colors into it, but too late now. I think it's still going to turn out cool looking, so no big. Because hers turned out really, really cool. Hey, don't start growing skin over, please. I don't have time for this. Multiple, I just don't have time for this. Stop it. Oh, guys. Hope you guys are all done with your Christmas shop. Because if you're not, shame on you. <laughs> I can talk crap this year just because this, this is the only year, the very first year that I've gotten done with uh, Christmas shopping in um, an appropriate time. I was done like two weeks ago. So I can talk crap to the ones who didn't, finally, <laughs> yay. But uh, <laughs> also, and I know I said I wasn't going to use, oh, Lord, help me. I was supposed to pull this out of here before it starts solidifying. Yeah, don't forget that. Um, I said I was going to try to use um, um, not so many containers, but guys, the way I feel right now, I just don't give a shite. <laughs> I know that's terrible. That's a terrible idea. I mean, manner to have, but... I'm just kind of feeling that way. Sometimes we can't always be happy and sunny, but I am in a good mood. I'm just so gosh darn happy that I am feeling better. And I said, gosh darn, I don't need anybody leaving comments on my channel saying I'm using the Lord's name in vain. Please don't start with me. Um, oh no. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably should start moving a wee bit faster. I'm going to have to pop these back in the microwave. Ew, gross. Yeah, um, yeah, that's kind of stuck. So, I'm most definitely going to have to... <laughs> that doesn't look good. <laughs> Pop these back in the microwave at some point. I'm just trying to use as much as I can so I don't have to keep doing this. It was just the white that kind of clumped up on me all crazy-like. I think this is going to be really cool looking. I think he's going to like it without the snot booger effect that's going on here. Because that is gross. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I think I'm going to like this. Despite me not using my clear. I think I'm going to like it. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to stop right here and go remelt this stuff. And you know what? I may not even need any more. Probably just a wee bit more, and I'm just going to probably pop that in the microwave. Yeah, because I'm pretty much halfway there. So yeah, guys, um, isn't that gross? <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and pop these back in the microwave, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. You know, it seems like a grand new idea to make soap when you're not feeling good, and I've said that before. You probably shouldn't. <laughs> Because I've done many, many mock-ups. Uh, like, I used a pipette that I didn't realize had glitter in it. So, Gabe might be a little bit shiny. Um, <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to tell. But, there were a few little specks of glitter in here. And then, I was fearful that my fragrance oil flashed. And I didn't use very much to begin with. So, I decided, okay, let's just do another little squirk. Yeah, that'll work. And I put the wrong fragrance in there. So, I put Firm House, which... Um, smells kind of like Hawaiian punch. Um, doesn't smell bad, mix, you know, a, a bad mixture, but uh, he's going to smell like a firm house in the woods <laughs> between the pine and the cedar and the firm house. Good Lord. Thank you. 
uh, for the fact that he likes both of these fragrances, but I don't know if he likes them both mixed, but we're going to find out, aren't we? So yeah, should not make soap, not feeling good, um, which the ways. But, um, oh well, it does smell pretty pleasant, and I know that, like, um, that farmhouse is one of his favorites, so I just kind of mixed two of his favorites. <laughs> Hopefully he likes it. <laughs> oh, that's sexy. Yeah, I feel so bad, kind of. But, um, yeah, that's that sucks, so yeah. Um, just don't make soap when your your head is not right. Yep, that'll save you a whole lot of trouble. But, I will say, I'm loving the way this is turning out. And I love the fact that I decided to use my crock pot to warm up my bulk of my fragrances first. Because, fragrances, oh, uh, <laughs> melt and pour first. Just because, um, it just saves you a whole lot of work in the end. It really does. So, I don't know if I'm going to fill this completely to the top. I think whatever is left in here, that's all I'm going to use. I'm not going to put any more. So for the last few drags that's in this container. Which I'll peel out and then heat up and pour in here. Because I waste nothing. Okay. Nothing. Nothing I tell you. Alright. Yeah. This mixture. These fragrances. Oh. I can kick myself in the head. I really could. Kenny. 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 Shame. Shame. That's terrible. It really is. But... I'm hoping that, you know, <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> oh, jeez. I did not mean to do that. Oh, well, I just got to pour the rest of this off right now. That is going to be a strange mixture. Hopefully he likes it. It doesn't stink. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say it doesn't smell bad. It's just uh, kind of strange. Fruity and piney. But it gives it... I don't know, I can't really tell what type of mix that is. And these are all have gotten cooled, so I can't use them. I'm going to go ahead and just pour that down there like that. So, one more go, guys. And, um, <coughs> oh, I sound amazing. Not really. But I'll be back once I heat the last bit of these up, and then we'll, um, do some unmolding after it settles and cut and see what we got. Hopefully it smells more like pine than this farmhouse. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Ugh, be back. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been unmolded. And um, I didn't show you all that just because... Eh, you've seen that before. And I can honestly say that mold, I just don't like it. I don't like it for cold process. I don't like it for melt and pour. Because this texture, I just... I don't know. I don't like it. It would be cool. I know like the striations and the soap has nothing to do with the mold. But then again, maybe it does. I'm not sure. But there's a little texture on it. It would be cool if it was just like, you know, completely on the soap and it would stay. But when you take the ends off, that texture actually kind, kind of tears away from the soap. So it just makes it look weird, you know. But um, if it had like a smooth texture, say like the bottom, now that's really cool. I like that. And you see how the top looks too. And I went ahead and just off camera. So I'm going to see what I can do as far as freehand cutting. Because you guys know that I suck at freehand cutting. And it's still truth. <laughs> because I cut two pieces. Yeah. Um, that piece right there. Yep, he should love that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then I cut this um, thing here. Yeah. So, <laughs> the way the soap uh, turned out is actually pretty cool looking. You know, for it to be a melt and pour. I do like those swirls. Can you guys see that? So, those are some cool looking swirls. But, um, I cut. Woo! Mm -mm -mm, terrible. Absolutely. So, I'm going to give it another shot and see how bad I can muck this one up. <laughs> Oh, Lord, somebody help me. Um, I'm just not good at this. And where's Clyde Yoshida? <laughs> Couldn't you just live closer, Clyde? Because <laughs> he's so good at cutting these soaps. Oh, my goodness. Me? Nope. Not so much. So, I'm just going to score them and pretend that I'm going to cut these straight. And then we'll see which those cuts. Even the scores are not straight. Seriously? Anyway. <laughs> so... I'm going to give it a shot. 
Okay, I got my knife straight. I'm going to try to go straight down like Clyde does. And it seems like my knife wants to go towards the back. I think this is hurting my hand. Yes. Um, this knife sucks. Can't cut it with a wire cutter. It's just too hard. So, I think I'm all the way through. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I think. There we go. And... <laughs> It's still curved. <laughs> so I don't care what I do. Sorry, Gabe. <laughs> I try. I guess that makes it even more special because I hand made it and cut it. Yeah. I tried, but it just doesn't work. So let's just not focus on these horrifying cuts. I'm not going to show you guys any more of me mucking up this soap. But I will show you the swirls in that because that is pretty darn cool. And this light, I don't know, it's just like way too bright. So let's do that. I don't even think that's better. But those are some cool looking swirls for this to be a melt and pour soap. I hate the striations in my soap from this stupid knife. So yeah, um, right. That, that cut. <laughs> yeah, those cuts are terrible. So I'm going to figure out what else I can do to continue to butcher this soap up um all film so <laughs> if you guys did like my um let's just say my melt and pour uh swirling technique that uh, i got from body royalty then please do give a thumbs up it was all her idea and i just tried to do it myself i do like the swirls those are some cool swirls man <laughs> even though those cuts are horrifying so um i'm just kind of almost tempted to just give him this whole block as it is and say you know what do cut it yourself when you need it <laughs> that's not nice either so okay guys i'm gonna go and continue to butcher up this soap off camera so until next time guys um actually this is the last video of 2015 um i think i'm going to go ahead and do a you know a thank you video thank you guys for being so stinking awesome uh, but it has been amazing and I thank you guys so much. So this is my last soap making video for 2015 and I look forward to doing more in 2016 and I'm going to stop talking if I plan to do an actual video on that. So until then guys, see ya!